Hey, what's happening everyone? Welcome to my channel guys. My name is Ron Lushin. Now today in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can increase your Go High level LC emails deliverability. All right. Uh, there are some few tips you can actually add on to insert your uh, email uh, automation system, which you can actually increase uh, your deliverability so you don't your email don't end up in spam folder, all right? Um, so this is like really good uh, video you're gonna uh, get a lot of value from, right? So before we get started, uh, make sure to uh, subscribe my channel and I'll be totally appreciate that, okay? So let's deep dive in. Now, so uh, most of you, uh, if you are using Go Higher Level with uh, LC email, LC email means if we go into the settings, right? Um, say email services, we go to email services, and then we can check if what kind of email SMTP provider we are using. You can actually add another services like uh, Gmail. You can integrate that. You can use a SendGrid, or you can also use a Mailgun system. Uh, uh, and in your own Mailgun system, okay? So, but people who are using LC email, we call it shared IP address. Uh, you can also create your own dedicated domain right here, many, uh, many as you can, and you can also utilize your own dedicated domain to send them an email so you can actually manage it by yourself. Now, but here's a problem. Um, lead connector LC email does not provide for now, but in the future they will, but for now, uh, they don't actually provide any um, like SMTP uh, uh, secret keys or S uh, IDs, anything like that, like Mailgun or SendGrid, all right? The reason uh, I'm talking about this is that uh, when you start sending out the email, always be careful, don't try to send out bark email. You have to warm it up first. You, you, you have to warm up your email so it does, so you can increase, we call it sender's reputations. So uh, your email don't end up in and in, in spam folder, right? This is one of my biggest mistake I made. So my email was all going into my client's uh, uh, junk folder, which is spam folder, and it was causing a lot of big trouble uh, in my business. So uh, once I found this, um, but the problem is, LC email does not. You cannot warm it up. You have to warm it up by manually by uh, you know requesting uh, your close friends or maybe your like really, really hot raving fans or buyers. And then you, you have to slowly send them out 10 emails, 20 emails, like 30 emails slowly, and then let them uh, keep, you know, be, uh, you know, while listing your email at the same time, replying back to your email. And also uh, if they open their email and click the link and all that, it's gonna add up and you're gonna build a reputation pretty quickly, but you have to do it manually. Uh, uh, people who are using Mailgun system or some other SMTP, external SMTP you're using right now, then you can actually get uh, SMTP, uh, uh, the, the secret keys and IDs, and you can use that to use another software. There is tons of software you can use it to warm up your email automatically, but LC email, you cannot do that. So uh, there, there's why we are using another very, uh, um, a very, it's not really big tips and tricks, by the way. It's just that I didn't even know about it. That's why I'm making this video. So I want some people to know that you can also utilize it to actually increase your rep email reputation so your email don't end up in spam folder, all right? This is another, another tip and trick that you guys can apply it very easily in your email system. So I'm gonna share that with you today. So it's all about automation, okay? So in your automation, you really also have to, I mean, there's a few things that you can do. For example, like you must, in your profile, right? Right now, I don't have, uh, let me see. If, if, oh yeah, it's right here. So uh, when you come into your business profile, right? In your settings, you must turn this on guys, okay? Uh, mark email as invalid due to the hard bounds. Make sure you turn this on. And also you gotta turn this on too. Verify email address when first email is sent to a new contact because this will verify the email address before sending an email. And then it's it's like standard uh, price is not it's not it's really, it's not really expensive. It's like zero point zero zero two five cents uh, is is applicable verification. But anyway, you must turn this on. It's gonna help you too because if you if you you never know if you are collecting a many email lists every single day, you never know if people are actually giving you a real email. Some people give you like fake email, then it's gonna bounce off. If your bounce rate is more than three percent, then your account will shut down for twenty four hours, and you have to. Uh, create a new dedicated domain and start from scratch, okay? I went through that, all that, guys, okay? Another thing is, if you don't verify your email, yes, you will pretty much gonna end up in spam folder. So you must turn this up. Now, this is very easy one. Anybody can come here and just turn it on, that's it. 
it's going to automatically be saved in your account. But there's another way you have to, you can add uh, some kind of uh, a very simple automation where you can organize your email list and also you can forcefully give them a DND. We call it do, a do not disturb. The same thing as unsubscribe. So when you send out the email, even though these people are fake email, even though they are in your, on your list, uh, if you turn these people DND, um, then your these people's email will be skipped when you send out the email. So it's going to save your dedicated domain and also your sender's reputation. So you, you can increase your deliverability by on this way. So I'm going to share with you how you can. Anybody can do this. Very simple. It doesn't even take that long. It's like, what, less than five minutes? I will show you how you do that. So once you log into your account, okay, um, you, once you log in the account, this is actually my GoFundMe box. My GoFundMe box is powered by Go High Level, and our, I'm also a SaaS business owner utilizing Go High Level. So if, if you guys are really interested in our GoFundMe box, then you can check uh, the below video. I'm going to explain to you a little bit about my GoFundMe box later on. So anyway, let's go into your account and go into automations. Now, uh, always trying to uh, create a new folder uh, when you create uh, automations, all right? So I'm going to create a new folder. And it's going to, I'm going to name it DND. Okay. It's going to be all in this folder, right? DND means do not disturb, create. And then we're going to go into this DND folder. And now we're going to create from scratch. Now, for, there's few things that we're going to create about three automations. One is for the unsubscribers. Number two is we are going to create, um, uh, we are, we're going to create a, a automation about people who, whose email has been bounced and people who actually tr uh, trying to put your email into your spam folder, which call, we call it email complaints, all right? So we're gonna make three automations. We're gonna unsubscribe all of them, so we don't need to send them an email at all, so you can save your reputation, right? So you can increase your deliverability. So first thing is unsubscriber. Now, if somebody unsubscribe your um, email, well, it will automatically be become a DND. Do not disturb. So we're gonna we are not gonna send them any email in the future. But it's really also good to organize them. You should know who is unsubscribing your email. So what I'm gonna do is once you uh, log into your account and come into your uh, automation uh, page, first I'm gonna name it as unsubscriber. Okay, and then I'm gonna save. <clears throat> And then we're gonna uh, we're gonna trigger something. Now, in order to trigger unsubscriber, all you need to do is this will be done from your client's uh, part. Okay, when they when you send them an email, some people might be they don't want to receive your email, right? And they're gonna click unsubscribe link, and this will trigger. So we're gonna uh, scroll down a little bit. Then how is this gonna trigger? We're gonna trigger like uh, for example, if you scroll down a little bit, and you will see, uh, let's see. Uh, where is it? Um, let me. Okay, what I'm gonna do is when somebody click. Oh yeah, contact the ending. Sorry about that. Contact the ending. That means somebody in your clients. One of your contact lists actually unsubscribe from your uh, list. All right, that is contact DND. Now we're gonna give some filter. DND flat is enabled. What it means is that somebody request unsubscribe from your email list. That's DND flag is enabled. So we're gonna choose. Uh, you can also choose enable DND from our channels, or you can enable DND for specific channel. Now this entire training is going to be all about email, not SMS. Okay, I'm gonna make that video next time, but. Uh, all, you need, all you need to do is just choose enable DND from specific channels. That means DND flag is on. It means somebody unsubscribed it. So we're gonna click which channel is. We're gonna choose email, okay? Now, once it's done, what it means is that somebody unsubscribe from your uh, email list. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give them, uh, we're gonna add contact tag, and I'm gonna name it like DND, right? DND email. In what I mean is that now they unsubscribe from my email. So I know which person unsubscribe from my email, okay? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give tag. Now, once you uh, give them a tag to organize them, next thing is I'm gonna remove from all the workflow. Now, because they don't wanna receive any email from you, then why should I send them email? Because now that's gonna affect your reputation too. So I'm gonna remove from our workflow, remove from our workflow, boom. 
And you can either include this current workflow or you can um, you can untoggle it too. I usually untoggle it because I don't know what's going to happen later on. So I'm going to untoggle it, save action, boom, done. This is about it, guys. Very simple, right? Yes, it is simple. And then make sure you publish it. And then next thing, what I do is go to settings and I, I allow re-entry because who knows, right? Somebody might rescribe. So I'm going to make re-entry, go back, done. Okay, so this is how you uh, organize your anybody who unsubscribe from your email list. It's really good to have one because you never know who's going to unsubscribe from your email. I always organize it. Sometimes I just, you know, after I organize these people who unsubscribe my uh, email list, that means they don't want to receive an email from you in the future. So why not? I'm just delete all these contact lists, right? So that's how I do it. Okay. So it's, it's also save my time. Also organize your list. It's very important to do that. It's very simple. Now we're going to go back. Now we just created a, a automation for the unsubscriber. Next thing is we are gonna create a, a, another automation for uh, people email that has been uh, bounced back from uh, their uh, email because bounce rate is very important, guys. Okay, you have to organize it. You gotta stop it. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click uh, create another workflow. I'm gonna go to continue, and then the trigger is going to be okay. Trigger is going to be uh, let me go here. Oh, we're going to type it in email. If you type it in email right here, you will see email events. Now, email events, it actually in the system, it, it will know if email has been bounced or not. So choose event and it's going to be bounced. But always make sure this automation only works if you are using Mailgun only. All right. If you are using your own Mailgun outside of Go, uh, Go High level uh, system, or if you are using LC email because LC email is under Go High Levels Mailgun system, so it's still Mailgun guys. So if you are using either Mailgun or 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 your LC email, then it's gonna work. Okay, so we're gonna choose bounced, right? That means now we know if someone's email has been bounced. Then what what should we do? If you don't do this, what happens is you're gonna keep sending an email which what already has been bounced from previously, what happens? Your reputation score will go down and eventually your email will end up all in spam folder. This is what happened to me uh, in the past. It, this one was the my main biggest point, uh, pain point that I had in the past, okay? So always go into email events, choose event and go to bounce mail gun only. So now we're gonna give them a tag, okay? We're gonna add contact tag and then we are gonna give them bounced. Okay, bounced email, email bounced, email bounced. All right, I'm gonna give a new tag like this. This list, you have to delete it, all right? You have to delete this list. That's why you need to organize it, guys. Now, next thing is, yes, we are going to give them a DND at the same time. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna give them a, a contact DND. Where is it? Where is contact DND? Uh, let me move, add contact, set contact DND. Where is it? Uh, oh, yeah, enable, disable DND. I think they changed their name anyway. Yeah, choose enable and disable DND. We're going to enable it. So we're going to enable DND for specific channel, which is email, right? Boom. Now, why are we doing this? Because this email has been bounced. We know it inside the system. So we give them a tag, make sure you organize them. So I'm gonna delete this email list later on. Also, we have to make sure we unsubscribe their email list from our list by ourselves, by forcefully. Why? Because you might not know if, uh, you know, before you delete their uh, email list, you might send them an email, right? Maybe it's, it could be automation email, whatever that is. Then it will bounce again. What happens? You lose your reputation. So I don't want to do that. Make sure you DND them, all right? DNDs do not disturb. Same thing as unsubscribe from our side. And then we're going to remove from all their workflow. Remove from our workflows, okay? I'm going to include this one too because these lists are bad email lists. I'm going to delete them later on. So uh, I'm going to make sure I'm going to name it bounced, all right? The bounced emails. And then make sure you publish it. And also go to settings, make sure you allow, who knows, right? So I'm gonna do that. Boom, you are done. 
now you are safe from any fake or bad email uh, from your contact list all right you can save yourself from bouncing you can reduce any you can avoid anything that could happen in the future now next thing is we're gonna uh, the last thing is we're gonna make a one that people complain from your about your email now what it means is that now these people are putting your email into spam instead of unsubscribing yeah a lot of people does that okay i mean people can just click unsubscribe but most people just put your uh, email into your spam folder it's going to also affect your deliverability because your your reputation will go down okay so we got to create this one too actually system knows it so uh thanks to mailgun system now we're going to trigger something we're going to name first okay this is going to be uh, email complaint email complaint is same thing as spam okay now and then we're going to trigger, which is email event. So type it in email, you will see email events. The event is going to be complaint, spam, right here. See, pretty cool, right? Very easy, guys. And then we're going to give them, we repeat the whole thing again, right? We give them a tag. So later on, I can uh, delete these emails. I'm going to type it in uh, spam, email spam, spam email, spam emails all right and then i'm going to save next thing is what we have to we have to make sure these emails will be dnd which means we have to unsubscribe your email from our size forcefully so we're going to enable disable dnd and then we're going to choose enable dnd for specific channel which is email very simple right and then the last thing what is it yes we have to remove them for the all workflow we're going to remove remove from our workflows including here too because people who put your email to spam means they really don't they really don't like you okay <laughs> that's what it means so um that's it that's about it guys now with this uh very simple three automation you can actually save your reputation also and it's going to also help you to increase your email deliverability who is utilizing either mailgun system or using lc email so it's going to help you a lot guys uh thank you for watching this video guys okay so um always make sure uh if you are really interested in using our co-founder box uh you can check it out in the below the video okay we provide tons of value inside uh for example like uh you know we also have uh, all the trainings for you guys okay uh, we have like all the setup, account setup, properly uh, uh, videos. We have all the uh, how to create a profit membership area. Uh, uh, how do you create unlimited legion funnels, automated sales funnel, automated calendar funnel, DND content management, all in details. And also, we are going. We are actually updating a new video for the email marketing. Everything will be here for anybody to actually build your business really quick. Okay, and we do have a knowledge base too, uh, separately. Uh, you know. You guys can actually, if you really want to learn inside out how this Go High Level works, you guys check. You guys can actually check our GoFundMe box and come into our knowledge base. And here you can actually go through all the training uh, as you want. All right? For the onboarding resources, this is like like a very like a short, like a real training video how to build a business. Okay, we are actually showing you step by step how to build one. All right? And all our and every automation, every email sequence, and also we have tons of uh, email uh, the funnel templates. You guys can actually plug it in and use it right away. So uh, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next one. And Keep some thumbs up, guys. Okay? So, okay. Thank you. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.